guys, welcome to the 1954 Jaguar XK120. I was not expecting to drive this car, which is why I'm doing this on voiceover, but this is something outrageously special. It's powered by a 3.4 liter twin cam inline six, pretty advanced for the time, and it makes 160 horsepower. It was available in three body styles, this Roadster style as you see here, the fixed head coupe and the drop head coupe. There are no exterior door handles, so you have to reach in to open it, and the driving experience is very, uh, let's say, unique. The brakes feel like a suggestion, the power is phenomenal, and the gearbox is crunchy. So that's what you're going to see, is me being a little nervous about driving this car, trying to be careful but deliberate. Where's the phone holder? So I hope you'll understand that we're not going to thrash this car. We are going to row through some gears and respect the drive. Big thanks to Jake Weil at Wild Motorsport for letting me drive his family treasure. And I hope you enjoy the ride. This put me way outside my comfort zone. Make sure I can get in the clutch all the way. There's an adjustable seat. Oh, it is. Yeah. Wow. So I think you were considered tall when this car was designed. True. All right. So reverse just to make sure I don't. It's, it's like a, oh, it's, it's just like a BMW. It's a BMW. Cool. So there's first. Well, actually, I just remember this car is a copy of the 1939 BMW 328. Oh. Uh, shh, don't and uh, the synchro is crunch a little bit if you're a little fast, and um, double clutching alleviates it, but it's more of a pain. Yeah. All right, I might just give it a little blip on the upshift just to catch the revs. Good luck. We shall see. All right, so do we just turn it like a normal thing? Turn it, and then it's a push button start. Turn it and push button. Yeah. And it's a quick start? Mm, nothing was quick back in the day. <laughs> there's a the reverse. That's wonderful. E brake off. Yes. Oh, those brakes. I may want to sit a little closer. <laughs> you gotta hold it against the synchro slightly. Say that again. Just uh, push. You almost have to wait. With the, you have to like put it into like a almost like a pre-synchro and hold it there and then forward. Ah. This is the. Uh, should this car be double clutched? It drives better with it when you double clutch it. So I just got to lean forward, there it is, and there it is, got it. second. Jam it.
I feel um, classy and terrified and like you have to flow with the car, but it's like you're uptight about it because you're like, be cautious, you know? It's so intimidating, but at the same time, it's like, you know, we're just doing the thing. I've seen these for sale recently with a, with a T56 transmission. In them. Makes sense. Come to a stop just to make sure I'm getting it in nicely. Lean. Ah, come on. There it is. Could have lost that synchro 30 years ago. Oh yeah, my part. I can't see them, but I assume here is okay? Yep. Good. In. Yeah. And just key? Yep. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And a big thanks to my Patreon supporters for making this content possible. Don't forget to respect the drive, and I'll see you in the next one.